We do one sample t-test, pair sample t-test, independent sample t-test, and one way and all. All is a common test used to for testing means. Means are different, right? Or similar or different. Okay, number one, we start with one sample t-test. So why is called one sample? How many population here? How many populations are here? Remember, the box is the population. One population, the sample. We take one sample from the population. So it's called one sample t-test. What's the objective? You have to test the population mean, whether it equals to a hypothesized value, let's say mu naught. So from the population, we take a sample, sample size n, x bar is the mean, s is standard deviation. Using these values, which we discussed last week, where it is centered, how it's spread. So these are the descriptives. And you want to test whether it means a certain value. Now, just look at the formula. In this formula, what is the numerator? In this formula, what's the numerator? Yeah? Mean minus the hypothesized value. Okay. In other words, layman's term, what's the value? What's the numerator? Layman's term. In layman's term, what is this value? Oh, grab at the bottom. What is this value? Tested. Observe versus tested, right? X bar is what you observe from the sample. Mu naught, what are you testing? Isn't it? Plus X bar is the value obtained from the sample. Mu naught is the value you're testing. Example, yes. you want to test whether the mean BMI is 25. Then mu naught is 25. You take a sample, the sample mean is 28. Then X bar is 28. So in this formula, the numerator formula here is testing the difference between what you observe the sample and the value you're testing. This value is zero means what? The T value is zero means what? Observed and tested are same. Exactly the same. T big means what? Is T value big means what? Big T value means what? Uh, means observed value is uh, larger than maybe it could what be larger. What you than... observe is very much different from what you're testing. Big T. T value is small means what? Small T means what? And there's so much difference between not much a difference. You know, T can be big or T can be small. Big T implies that's a difference. These two are totally different. What you observe, totally different from what you expect. Whereas small t implies not much a difference between these two. Just now in the Excel, we went through this when the value, right? When this is the t value. Table just now, this is a T value. When the T is large, and the T is large, then you are moving from here away from zero. Then that's a P value will be small. When T is small, not much a difference. If that's a P value will be more than 0 0.05. Okay. Let's see some examples and see from there where we can go. Okay. Look at this now. Actually, what are these? What's energy, fat, carbohydrate? When you buy some food item, this is a label. Comes Ingredients? The, the label, right? Ingredients on the label, product, yeah. How many calories, fat, all this, right? 
Okay, this, this one says the fat content is only 16 grams. Are you sure it's only 16 grams? Do you think it will be more than 16 grams? What's your concern? Less than 16 grams or more than 16 grams? Uh, plus, okay. plus minus one gram. No, forget about this now. This alone. If okay. fat is 16 grams, right? Yeah. Do you think okay. it's more than, it, it, are you convinced it's 16, 16 grams? Are you sure it's putting 16 grams only? Yes. Is it possible it's more than 16 grams? Yes, only. Possible. Carbohydrate. He's telling this product, sugar. Look at sugar here. Only 0.8 grams. Yes. Let's say you're a diabetic person. Will you go for this product? 0.8 gram only. Yes. But actually, yes. how do you know it's only 0.8 gram? Yes. What's the problem with the Milo now? The drink Milo. What's the problem? Too sugary. Too much sugar. High sugar content. Yes. Too sugary Milo. Too sugary. So how do you know? The Too tasty. Actually, selling the truth or not? Right? All the product we buy, we want to know whether actually what they're telling, labeling, whether true or not. So this kind of areas we use one sample t test. This is the example. Example one. What do you want to know? What do we want to know? Class, this example, what do we want to know? We need to test if the... Uh, what do we want to know? What do we want to know? The BMI. BMI. Body mass index, yeah. We want to know whether BMI in the population is 25. Why 25? Why are we talking about 25? Why? <laughs> Is the normal value? Ah, maybe the normal is 25. That's why you're testing it. So what do you do? <coughs> On the population, we take a sample. Get the mean value x bar. So x bar minus 25. If the x bar is far from 25, then t is going to be big. How do you know? T value will be less than 0 0.05. Where you say it's no more 25. If the T value is small, then X bar is not far from 25. Then you're going to say T is small. Perhaps the mean is still 25. Okay, so let's do this. Open SPSS on the file, data set one. From here, we're going to go fast on this because objective, what test, how do you do that, what's the p-value, and the what's the conclusion. Okay, the data, data set one. Okay, data set one. Okay. okay let's follow from here onwards. Just follow the instruction given the yellow box. Okay, what's first? Analyze. Analyze. Okay. Analyze. Next. 
one, just read this table. Analyze. Yes. Compare okay. mean. Okay, we're going to do all these four today. The okay, one sample t test. All right. What variable being tested? BMI. BMI. So bring BMI, body mass index. So BMI is there. So you can't locate it. Listen carefully. Right click. Right click. Display variable name. The easier to see the variable. Otherwise, the label is very lengthy. You can't see it sometimes. Right click. The mouse. Display variable names. So now on a BMI, just move BMI. What else need to be done? Put a test value. Test value. So what's the tested value? 25. 25. Again, uh, what do you want to know? I BMI. want to know the mean BMI. Okay, my value. I want to know the mean BMI is 25. Uh, professor, how did we get the test value? Like, uh, test value 25? Yeah, no, no. Uh, like in this menu, how did we put in the test value? Test value here, 25. Default is 0, right? The default is 0, isn't it? Okay. Maybe it's not showing in my thing. Okay. No can see it. No, so for me, it's showing independent list. Below the dependent list, after I've added it. Hold on, eh? Let's try again. Analyze. Compare mean. One sample t-test. Are you in one sample t-test? Oh, no. I mean means. Okay, sorry. I want independent means. One sample t-test. Right. Let me right-click. Display variable names. So BMI. You want to know whether BMI is 25. That's all. Click OK. So far, any calculation? Any calculation? Manual calculation? Uh, no, no, sir. No. One click button, whole thing comes. You know, those days, how long this would have taken to complete? Manually calculating, not even a calculator. All right, let's interpret. So nowadays, matter of clicking the right button and interpreting the results, that's all. All right, look at your notes. Let me follow through from here. Objective to test if the mean BMI is 25. This is what we got from the sample. The sample, right, the mean is 28.4, there is standard deviation. So we take the first table. Okay, that's table. All right, so first table here, table there. Second table, look at second table. What's the tested value? What's the tested value? 25. 25. Now you compare what you got from the sample and what I tested. For sample, the mean is 28. Tested value is 25. How much difference? 3.4. Right. Look at the difference here 3.4. Is 3.4 big difference or small difference? Small difference. But we don't look at it. Look at the t value. What's the t value? How much is the t value? 6.743. Is it big or small? Big. Good answer. Look at the p value. This p value is it small? Yes. When SPS reports 0 0.000, actually you report less than 0 0.001. Is it less than 0 0.05? Yes. Right? That's why I said, look at the p-value. My objective is, is the mean 25. So my conclusion is, the p-value is less than 0 0.05. Therefore, the mean is not 25. Right? To answer my objective. 
is the mean 25. P value is less than 0 0.05, therefore yeah. it is not 25. The next question is, it's not 25, then where is it? If it's not 25, then where is it? Look at the last two columns. Take the tested value, add the lower and upper limits. The 25 plus 2.4, 25 plus 4.4. Now you're telling, you are confident 95%. The mean is between 27.4 and 29.4. So that's my objective. This is my test. These are the results. And that's my conclusion. The conclusion is that the mean BMI is not 25 to answer my objective. Okay. Next question is, it's not 25, then where is it? So add to the lower and upper limit. I can say that you're confident 95% is between these two limits. Why 95%? Why you say 95% confident? 95% what's the balance then? 5% isn't it? Yes, 5% is so right. 0.05, right? Oh. Our error, type 1 error, 5% isn't it? So error is uncertainty. 5% uncertain, 95% confident. So now you say you are confident 95%, the mean the population can be anywhere between these two limits. Our question now, is it possible an individual person's BMI being 32? Is it possible an individual person's BMI equals to 32? No, it is outside the range. Is it possible? Outside the range. No. This is individual. But this is the mean. This is the mean. The two it is okay. Yeah. Individual is possible. But this range is not for individual, like what we showed just now in the Excel. This is meant for the average overall. It's still possible people mean BM, BMI to be outside the range. This is for the average, not for the individual. Mm -hmm. Okay, where is this centered? This question is, where is the mean centered? We're not talking about the individual cases. Okay. This is still possible. So in the population, we expect it is this two. Okay. Questions? Number one, what's our objective? What was your objective? Come on, answer. To find, find the, the BMI. To test if the mean BMI is 25. What test we did? Number two, what test? One sample T test. Number three, results. What's the results? Okay, these are the results. Right? So these are the results. Next one. So what's the conclusion? The mean BMI is now 25. And where is it? We are confident 95% is between these two limits. Mm, excuse me, Professor. Yeah. Uh, why is 32 is possible? Because um, this is for the average, not for the individuals. Just now, the probability in the Excel, this is for the individuals, right? But here, we are talking about the average, right? The average, not for the individuals. So you mean to say it's 27.4 and 29.4 is not a bell curve? <laughs> no, it's a bell curve. You are talking about where is it centered? You're not asking whether, whether outside, inside, no. Where is the mean centered? First, 
What's the question? Is the mean 25, right? Yes. Now, what's your answer? Is it 25 or not 25? Not 25. Not 25. Then what's the next question? Where it lies. Where is it? We are confident 95% is between these two. What is yeah. that? The mean, not individual value. The mean is between this. Now, question is, what is the mean BMI, right? Yes. You're focusing on mean, not individuals. To test the mean BMI is 25. Mean means all the people add together, divide together, mean is 25. My answer, no, it's not. Next question is, then where is it? The mean is between this, not individual values. It's still possible somebody could be 32. It's still possible somebody is 20. But average it out, the mean is between these two range. Um, professor, mm -hmm. it could be yes. equal to, right? Um, or between, right? That's what it means. Yeah. It could be equal to or between. That's it, what it means. It normally say between. Okay. Not so hard fast to that equals or not, right? It's between these two. Okay. Include it. Uh, excuse me, Prof. Could you please repeat this 95% concept? Okay. Our type 1 error. Last week, talk about type 1 error. What is type 1 error? Last week, I talked about type 1 error. What is type 1 error? Uh, maybe uh, the we are taking the wrong decision, rejecting. No, it's not wrong decision, right? The nature being true to free. and rejecting it. That's type 1 error. So probability of committing type 1 error, right? That's called a p-value. By convention, it should not be more than 5%. Right? All right. In our case, what are we testing? Whether BMI equals to 25, right? Right. Mr. Green Rajan, last week talk about this, right? Hello? Yes, right. yes, 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 right. yes, yes, yes. Supposing this is true and you're rejecting it based on your data, what is the probability of type 1 error you're committing? Look at the output, 0 0.001, right? Yes. Our, our output says that chances, this is the value here. It expresses the reports 0 0.000, you say less than 0 0.05. So what does it mean? This being true and rejecting it based on our data, the chances are less than one in 1,000. Yes. What does it mean then? We can say confidently, this is not true. Isn't it? Yes. That's what it means here, type one error. So error 5%, error is 5%, uncertainty. The balance must be 95%, right? Yes. 95% confidence. Yes. Error 5%, one minus error is confident. So 95% confident. Actually, I think uh, the most of us uh, have a doubt that bell curve will lie between 26.4 to 29.4. No, so this 32 would be outside this 100%, right? Now don't so, bring the bell curve here. Okay. Bell curve Fine. That is and now I'm talking center only. Okay. Only on the center. You're not talking about the dispersion, right? Where is it centered? That's all. Okay. You do need one sample, but there are so many people not being studied. We study everybody where it's going to be. There's a lot of uncertainty. We call it margin of error, right? Margin of error. Okay. So how is computed actually briefly? How is computed? Take this value, the standard error. Okay, this value times two, how much is that? Times two, roughly times two? 1.086. plus 
Was the value correct? Yes. yes. What does it do? It takes a value and builds an interval around it. So this plus or minus, I'm taking a rough value, okay? 0 0.504 times two how much? Times two? This value times, times two? two? Yeah? Yeah. One point. One, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Roughly one, right? Yes. So 28.4 plus or minus one? So 28.4 plus one is this value. 28.4 minus one point something is value. How is standard error obtained? Take the standard deviation, divide by square root of sample size. So what is square root of sample size? Roughly? Roughly what is square root of 100, 108? 10, 10, 10. 5.2 divided 10. by 10? 5 divided by 10 is this value? Yeah, okay. 0.5. All the values obtained from the data. This is a mean, this standard deviation. Standard error is obtained by dividing the standard deviation by square root of sample size. That's a value. To get this estimation, to get this estimation, this value roughly times two plus and minus that value, that will give you this value. I know first time could be very difficult to understand the concept. After going through a few times, you'll be okay. Now go back to your data. Go back to your data again. Last week we did frequency and explore. Let's go to explore, analyze, descriptive statistics, explore. Analyze. Descriptive statistics explore. Bring the variable BMI, BMI in the dependent list. That's all. Click OK. Just bring this in and click OK. Look at the output. Look at the output. Do you see this value in the output? This value in the output? Uh, prof, uh, could you uh, repeat how you got that? Um, go to explore and then? Analyze, descriptive statistics, explore. This one did last class, right? Okay, prof. Yeah. Which variable? BMI. So bring BMI in. That's all, just click OK. Look at the second table. And check the, 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 the value you have in your slides. Do you see this value, 27.4 in the table? Do you see this value in the table? Yes. It's a value, right? 95% confidence interval for mean, not for individuals. It's exactly the same as this value, right? Yep. Now my question is, is it possible the mean value is 26? Is it possible the mean value is 26? No. How do you know? No. The low, it doesn't lie between the lower and the higher. Take a pen, take a pen. What's the lower value? 27.4, upper value 29.64, 29.4. The 26 falls inside or outside the interval? Outside. Outside. The 26 falls outside the interval. Therefore, it's not possible. Is it possible the mean is 28? Yes. Why is it possible? Between 27.4 and 29.4. It was false within the range. 
within this interval. Is it possible the mean, uh, I'm not talking individual, is it possible mean is 35? No, no. too high. It's outside. That's why I say these intervals are universal. Again, it's directed towards the center, the mean, not individuals. Individuals can be still outside the range, right? Normally people talk about the average. Where is it located? So just go on this. And this table, exactly what you have, right? So this, we call it, this is a type one error. So mean is not 25. Yeah. yeah. Now can you write it down? As a dictate, can you write it down? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Objective. Objective. Just write this. To test if the mean BMI in the population is 25. Objective. Next. Test. What test you use, right? Test. One sample T test. One sample T test. Next. Results. Results. Write all this. The results. Write all this. In fact, I don't have to show this. Huh? You don't have to show this. Uh, professor, the p-value is less than 0 0.01. Should we let it be like that or not 0 .0. You, zero, zero, you write less than 0 0.001. Okay. Is this less than 0 0.05? Yes. Ah, no, I don't have to mention. It is less than 0 0.05. So what does sample mean? What's the p-value in the test? So what does it mean here? And the confidence interval, which you got from adding this, adding this, or from the table, same value. Right, we don't need the center. Next, conclusion. The mean BMI in the population is not 25. We are confident 95% is between 27.4 and 29.4. What's your objective? What does it use? What results? And what's the conclusion? Four things. Okay. And are you there, Anne? Yes, Professor. Okay, Anne, can you read what you written? Can you read? Did you write just now? I, I, I did uh, try halfway. I, I've uh, lost halfway, sorry. Okay, I say again, OK? OK. Objective. Have you written this objective? Have you written objective? And? Yes, I have written uh, to okay. test the BMI in the population uh, okay. is 25. One sample t test. Yes, one sample testing. One sample t test. One sample t test, yes. So three results. Results, you put in all these values. That's the results. Okay, that's the result. And last one is your conclusion. Okay. Result got in. So last one is your conclusion. Okay, can you read now? Emma, just read mine and just read. Okay, so uh, the objective, do you want me to start from the objective, Prof? Yes, yes. Okay, 
So the objective is to test. Not, if not the so the objective, just objectively. Okay. Objective uh, to uh, test if the mean BMI in the population is 25. Right. We're going to analyze not one. Not analyze, just analysis only. You're reporting. Okay, sorry. Analysis, one sample t test. Right. Results, sample mean is uh, 28.40. Oh. Uh, with uh, with standard error of 5.24. 8.4 plus minus 5.24. That's enough. Sample okay. Good. Mean is equals to 28.40 plus minus 5.24. So okay. So 5.24 the standard deviation. Okay. Okay. Next. So in the test, the p value is less than 0 0.001. P value was. In the uh, test, the yeah. p value was. Yeah. Zero less than zero point zero zero one. Right. Meaning the mean is not twenty five. This Therefore, implies, this implies. This implies we are ninety five percent. No, no, this implies the mean is not twenty five. Sorry, this implies the mean is not twenty five. Right. We yeah. are ninety five percent confident. The mean BMI in the population is between twenty seven point four and twenty nine point four. Right. So the conclusion is the mean in BMI in the population is not 25. We are 95% confident it is between 27.40 and 29.40. Right. Do you understand what you did? Do you understand? We want to know 25. Result says, no, it's not. Then where is it, isn't it? Yes. You are connecting only this to the last, these two statements in between. This is evidence, right? To show how you derive this to this conclusion, All right? Yes. Let's try one more person. Uh, Ankita, Ankita. Yes, professor. Ankita, can you read? Ankita. Yes, professor. Yeah, can you read? What are you written? Can you read what are you written? Yeah, uh, I wrote objective to test if mean BMI in population is 25. Right. Analysis, one sample t-test. Right. Uh, results, sample mean is equal to 28.4 plus minus 5.25 Right. Uh, in the test, p-value uh, was less than 0 0.01. Okay. This implies mean is not 25. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Take care, baby. Okay. Uh, sorry, professor. No problem. No problem. All right. Okay. Let's do number two. Next one. You got slides. What's the next example? The slides. What's the next example? Uh, SPP. SPP. To test if the mean is SPP. In twenty-five. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Analyze, compare mean, one sample t test. All can follow? Yes, yes. Yeah, we are well. Click reset. Click reset. Throw everything out. Click reset. And then which variable? SBP. Okay, that's a variable. What's the test value? 130. Click OK. And look at the results. Okay, what's objective? Objective? To test if the mean SPP is 130. OK, continue. Um, analyze analysis. one sample t test. Analysis one sample t test. One sample t test. Okay, continue. Result uh, sample mean is 128.67 plus minus 15.889. All right. 
the p-value of the test was 0 0.385, which is more than 0 0.05. Yeah. This implies the mean is 130. Uh, perhaps, you said perhaps. Mean yes, perhaps, mean. yes. The mean is 130. Yeah. We are 95% confident the mean SPP is between 125.6 and 131.7. Okay. Conclusion. The mean SPP in the population is around 130. We are 95% confident it is between 124.6 and 131.7. All right. Does yes. 130 fall inside here? One, sorry, sir. This 130, does it fall inside? 130. Here? Yes, it is. Right? So, so it yes. Is, say the word perhaps, it's still 130. Don't say it is 130, okay? Because this is not 130, right? The sample mean is not 130, isn't it? Yes, yeah. So perhaps, perhaps the mean is still 130. All right. Very good. Yes, sir. Okay, that's one more. I want to know whether DVP mean DVP mean DVP diastolic. I want to know whether this is 80, 80. Quickly do the test, 80. Instead of this, I'm going to change this. Volunteers. Let's start from here. Yes. Go on. Who wants to go? Yeah. Anyone want to try? Um. Okay, start. Yes, uh, the objective is to test if the mean of DPP is 80. Right. Analysis one sample T test. Okay. Um, the result, uh, the result, the sample mean is 90.56 plus and minus 10.233. Okay, so that's much enough, okay. Yes, I do this. Right. Yes, um, the p-value of the test was 0 0.00, which is less than 0 0.05. Hold on, hold on. Sorry. Is it like this, the p-value comes is, from third? Is it like this? Yes. Uh, then it's a less than 0 0 0.001. Yeah. Is it, sir? Less yes. 0 0.001. 0 .001. The transparent yes. value, okay? Yes. All right. You so, don't have to mention, which is, you don't have to mention this, okay? It's understood, isn't it? Yes. Right, don't have to mention that. All right, so what's the conclusion? So, this implied the mean is 90, 90.56. 90. No, no, the mean is not. It's not, yes. 80, they're testing 80, right? Yes, we're testing 80. Testing the mean is not 80. So, this is less than 0. Point. Don't say zero. You're right. Zero point zero one. And don't have to show this. Yes. Right. This means the mean is not. Not. It's not, not 80. eighty. Yes. Okay. What's the confidence level? So we are. No, no, what night you, change, oh. change. What I written here. Change here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then. Yeah, the 95% confi 95 confident interval of the mean of DPP in a population was between um, 90.56 plus 
four. I, I need to calculate, Prof. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, 90.5 times 4. Okay, you don't want to do this way, what do you do? You can do, do explore, right? Yes, I can okay. do explorer. Um, put in the explore. You don't have to calculate. Yep. Click OK. All right, study is ready. How much? Value is seven. What's the value? Um, 99.16. Right. Yes. And um, 99.16. 92.51. Huh? Right here. Oh, 80, yes. 88.6 and 92.51. Yep. So what's the conclusion? The conclusion, the mean DPP in the population is around eight. Hello, so let's answer this question. Is it 80? The mean no, it's DPP not 80. In the population is not, not 80. Not 80. Is it more than 80? Yes, it's what more interval? Than, the interval is uh, 88.6 and 92.51. Right. If that's how you answer it. We may say that we will write later in the thesis. Okay, but one objective. What test we did, what results we got, so what's the conclusion made here? If your testing means 80, now you're telling it's not, then where is it? Write the consent interval. So the objective, tie up with the conclusion. Objective to test means 80, conclusion means not 80. We are confident. 95% is between that two limit. Is it difficult? Class, is it difficult? No, sir. Is it straightforward? Yes, professor. All you need to know is what test you use. There's no calculation. What button to press and how to interpret the results. Uh, Prof, can I ask a question? Sure. Um, for the 95% confidence interval of the difference, each yeah. time you have to add the value to... Oh, the... oh, do this. Do the explore. Okay, let me show both. Huh? This is for DBP. DBP. Testing whether it's 80. Right. One way is you add the value, right? 80 plus 12.5. Is it right? Is the value correct? 80 plus this. So it's only. Okay. 80. Oh, so you only have. Is it? You don't have to add. subtract for the. No, no, only add. Over. Only add. 80 plus this. Correct? Okay. Next. 80 plus this. Is it correct? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We don't want to do this. We can do explore. Explore DVP. You want to count a check. Same value, right? Yes. Same value, right? Hi, proof. Either way. Excuse me, proof. Yes. Uh, uh, may I ask a question? Uh, where can we change in the 95%? What if we want to do 99% check? If you want to change it, if you want to change it, we can explore, hold option, and change three. Uh, explore 36. Okay. Oh, okay. Change yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, sure. Thank you, Pro. Even this, don't have to calculate. You can go to explore procedure. To get the answer straightforward. All right, let's try one more. Let's try if what are the variables? Okay, mean age. Let's try if the mean age is all right. Age is 40. I want to test whether the mean age is 40. Wait.
Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want this to be, hold on, hold on. I want to change the value, test value. I want to test if it is 41, sorry, 41. Test if it is 41, not 40. Okay, any volunteers? Prof, can I try? Sure, sure. Uh, the objective is to find out whether the sure, mean to is... Find out. To test, already there, to test. Don't say to, to find out, to test. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Objective is to test if the mean age is 41. Right. The N is one sample t test okay and the result is the mean is 41.56 okay. plus a standard deviation of 5 6 plus minus 5.41 all right 5.41 okay go ahead the um, the p value is 0 0.288 which is uh, higher than more than more than 0 0.001 0 0.05 more than 0 0.5 our reference 0 0.05 okay okay understood okay. it's more than 0 0.05 which right. means a uh, mean is perhaps 41 okay the nine percent confidence interval for mean age in the population was between um hold on yes uh, i have to calculate okay how did this happen? what's upper limit upper limit um one point okay 41 42.5 42. 42.59 no okay. limit and um 40.52. Yes. If you want to calculate it, then what do you do? Do your explore. Explore. Just for the age. Click OK. That's the value, right? If you don't want to calculate manually. All right? OK, who has this now? Who was answering this now? Was answering this now? Uh, it was me, Prof. Okay, go ahead then. Okay, done this. So, yeah. Uh, yes, I got it like that. I, I had a little problem with calculating the lower limit, but I got it now. Okay, just add. Okay. Continue. Uh, is that the mean age in the population is perhaps 41. Is, we are 95% okay. confident around is perhaps 41. Is around 41, right? Okay. okay. All right. Okay, understood. Okay. We are 95 confident it is between 40.52 uh, and 42.59. Yeah, that's all. Right? <laughs> are you confident doing this kind of analysis? Now, are you confident? Yes. All right. Okay, that's one sample key test. Any questions? No, sir. All right. So you're going to stop with this for five minutes break. And then you're going to continue with independent samples. Okay? Take five. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.